certainly more than you want, but I have to finish this right now. Or it'll be streaky. Hello, what's your name? Uh, my name is James McNeil Mesplay. And uh, what, what prompted you to participate in the Paintathon today? Uh, Marguerite called me and said, will you participate? Was, that's all there was to it. <laughs> that's all, there, well, you know, I enjoy, I've known CAC forever, and so I'd do anything to support them that I can. How long have you been a member of the CAC? Oh, from the beginning. Yeah. From the beginning? How, how long ago was that? Do I have to say? I think it's over 25 years ago. Yes, yes. Um, okay, is this the sort of thing that you usually do and the sort of media you usually use? Absolutely, right. It's very similar to my work. I have a show up currently at Printworks Gallery. And in fact, the columns that are in this painting came out of the idea for the mats that are at the Printworks show. So one thing leads to another. And does it affect um, your working to have people running around, watching you, uh, standing behind your shoulder, so forth? Uh, I mean, somewhat, but I'm, I just sort of, when I really get into it, I don't even hear it. So I, that's how I got this done, is ju I just sort of tune everything out. And what does this piece mean to you? Actually, this piece is um, sort of for a friend, uh, Wanda Connell, who just passed away. And it's, uh, the name of the piece is Night Flight. And it's, uh, the Luna Moth sort of represents the spirit, you know, leaving the earth. And do you have, like, do you usually work with a particular, uh, for lack of better words, philosophy of how you approach art in the back of your mind when you, when you do, when you create things like this? Well, I've been dealing with classical uh, myths for about 30 years, so that's really my, my wellspring. I draw from that, and it's an endless well, really, of, of ideas and sources. This is not a particular, this is not a, a myth of any kind. It's just my own fantasy, but dealing with classical forms. Okay, thanks a lot, James. Okay, you're welcome. Well, just, you know, whatever feels natural to you. You ready? Yeah. Hello, what's your name? Uh, Winifred Godfrey. And have you been a member of the CAC for a long time? The beginning, which, is, the which even though James wouldn't say it, it's been like since 1974. Is, is this the type of work that you usually do? It is, it is, which is why I selected this to do for the demo, because it is what people know my work as. Same type of material, same type of paint, and so forth. What kind of paint are you using? I'm using oil paint. Um, even though that's not what most people are using today, I, it's what I'm most comfortable with, so I brought my own paint. And do you have a particular philosophy that, uh, that inspires or influences your, your work? Um, my work is two different types of work, and one is figurative and one is floral. And with the floral work, what I really like is the, um, just using the flower as a, as a vehicle for uh, light, transparency, abstract things like that and it just happens to be that it's flowers thank you very much <coughs> ready to go yep. hello what's your name Didi in LA and how long have you been a member of the CAC or uh, let's say 20, under 25 years, maybe 25. 38 years, okay. Um, no, tw 25, very, very impressive. Um, what, what, what prompted you to uh, get involved with the, uh, the Painathon today? Oh, I thought it would be a great uh, thing for CAC, for the artist, and I think it would be a lot of fun too to paint in front of people. And how's that been? How does it affect uh, your work, your process, uh, being watched by people, having people like behind your shoulder? Uh, it can, you know, some guy said, I think you should do this here, I should, you should do that there. <laughs> but you try to ignore that, I, th I think it's an interesting experience. Uh, it's more challenging, but I like it. Do you have a particular, is, or is there a particular philosophy or anything of that nature that uh, like is in the back of your mind when you do your work or that influences you in general, uh, anything like that? Why? Well, uh, what influences me? It's more like uh, what's happening in my life. So, it's not uh, the beauty of nature. It's uh, the torment, uh, the torment of my life. <laughs> torment of your life? Torment. Yes, torment. Peaceful times. <laughs> well, what does this particular? What does this mean to you? This piece here. Well, this piece means uh, something is going to happen. <laughs> 
at some point. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, DDA. Hello, what's your name? Kim Frieders. Kim Frieders? Frieders. Frieders? It's Frieders. Oh, Frieders, okay. Um, Kim Frieders, what brings you here today? What inspired you to be uh, in the uh, Paint-a-thon? Well, first of all, it just sounded like a heck of a lot of fun, so I wanted to do that. It's kind of a challenge. I usually take a million years to do a painting, so I wanted to see how that would go to give myself only a few hours. And Is this the sort of painting that you usually do, the sort of style, the usual sort of, kind of media? It is, yeah. I usually use acrylics, so this was natural for me. And I usually just start out with no ideas, so that was natural to me. Uh, it's just a matter of time, really. And what does this mean to you, this piece you're working on right now? Uh, well, for me, it's just a lot of fun. and It just means that I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and I'm working with the materials, and I don't have any philosophy behind it besides just if I'm enjoying myself, then it comes out well. How, does it affect the, uh, your work, the way you're doing it? Does, is it affected by the fact that people are running around, like watching you and so forth? Uh, behind your shoulder, looking, looking in? Yeah, yes and no. It's kind of interesting to hear what people have to say. I kind of would have liked more suggestions, actually. I would have liked people to say, hey, you should use this or that or whatever, because that's just kind of fun to use somebody else's idea and see what that does. You're, you're trying to tell me that you've run out of artistic ideas. Is that, is that what you're saying? You're scraping the bottom of the barrel now? Of course not. I'm full of ideas. I just like other people's ideas, too. Uh, very good. Well, you're open, then. You're open to influences. It's, uh, OK, well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. See it. Is the shot set? Should I get closer? The actual questions. Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Barbara Kennan. And what, what inspired you to participate in the Paintathon today? It sounded like fun. Very good. Are you a member of the CAC? Yes, I am. For how long? A year and a half, maybe two. Ah, two years, so you're relatively new at this, or at being a member. Uh, how long have you been a, a professional artist? I think since the late 80s. And um, is this the usual type of thing that you do in your art, or is it special for today, or usual materials, so forth? It's sort of a combination of what I do, and, but it's special, because I don't normally work on a stretched canvas, or at least I haven't recently, and I'm mishmashing together a lot of stuff that normally I might use more individually. And what does this piece mean to you? Um, it's... I don't know what it means to me. Um, it's an 